What if I told you that emotionally intelligent men can deduce a lot more than you think in the span of a single date? And how helpful would it be to realize what these insights are and better yet, how to show up in the most authentic way to make the strongest first impression by being you. So in today's video, I will reveal the seven most crucial things men notice about you after just one date. Contrary to popular belief, emotionally intelligent men are not just guys who are going off by their lizard brain and acting based on instinct. These are men who have a nuanced understanding of human beings and practical psychology and can really take notice of small nuanced expressions that let him make a picture of a human being, in this case you, in a short amount of time. Now, it's very unlikely that these guys that you can connect with are going to have a geeky spreadsheet that they're going to be tagging you along and putting you in different little boxes. But what will happen is they'll get a feel for who you are in more ways than you realize by just connecting with you and having a conversation with you and spending some quality time with you. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this video is because I'm a firm believer that you cannot track or you cannot improve what you can measure. So by you measuring very specific ways of showing up and being, you have a much higher chance of being chosen, of being someone who makes a strong impact, and not because you're gimmickly trying to portray someone you're not, but by being a stronger version of you. So my message to you is very simple from the start. I'm not asking you to do this to get chosen. I'm not asking you to do this for the guy. I'm inviting you to do it because showing up this way happens to be a way where you can be the strongest version of yourself, which by default will create a lot more interest, a lot more attraction, and a lot more pursuit from the right guys. The first thing emotionally intelligent men notice about you is the answer to this question. Is she an instigator of light? Now, before you throw a tomato at me, guys are not going to use this language. They're not going to ask themselves, is she an instigator of light? They're simply going to filter you through one criteria. And that criteria is, do I feel more alive in her presence? Listen to this. Do I feel that she is connecting to her life force in such a way that her mere presence, her vibration, her showing up, her expression is making my heart feel alive without you having to do much, without you having to dance a little dance, metaphorically speaking, just the way you show up creates a feeling of wholehearted expression and feeling in my being. Now, what creates this in you without having to force it? Well, the way you connect to your life force, the way you express yourself, how radiant you are. I'm not saying that if you show up this way that you'll have the peak of any guy you want. What I'm saying to you right now is if you learn nothing else from this video, but by showing up with your dial of radiance and expressiveness and hard connection, if you dial that up, you would quadruple the level of interest, pursuit, and excitement you can generate in men. Number two, is she confident in her skin? Guys are not necessarily going to highly value confidence on its own, but the reason why confidence is important is because they're deeply inside asking the question, does she know her worth? And here's why this is important. Because if you know your worth, that means that connecting with you, he is more valuable. He has to be someone who is special and unique and different for you as someone who values herself and knows her worth, choose him. Now, what would tip him off that you are confident? Let me first share that there's a gradient of confidence. On one end of the spectrum, you cross the line of confidence and go into narcissism. I think I'm better than you are. On one other end of the spectrum, you put yourself as a doormat. So somewhere in the middle is a healthy space where you understand who you are. You can express your viewpoints. You're not fearing that he's going to leave you or like you less. You know who you are. You show up with kindness, but strength as well. It's a firm level of, I know who I am and I speak my truth and I hope you like it. If you don't, I'm still cool with myself. Now, some women show up in dates with a deep fear, especially if they like the guy, that he's going to judge them or he's going to not like them. So they kind of dim down their confidence and they almost show up in a very apologetic way. And that's something guys can smell from a mile away. So if you're someone who has struggled in the past to express yourself, understand that by you taking one degree more courage, one degree more expression, one degree more, here's what I like versus what I don't like. Here's what I really believe in versus what I don't believe in. 
the more you show up the way, the easier you're making it for the right guy to say, I'm in, and the easier you're making it for the wrong guy to self-disqualify immediately. The third thing that guys notice when they connect with women is, does she have sexual boundaries? Now, don't get me wrong. There's multiple guys out there going out to connect with women who only want a sexual relationship or who want a friend with benefits or who want a situationship. That is not who I'm referring to. There's going to be guys who want a serious relationship and they're going to be gauging if you have sexual boundaries or not. They may immediately want to connect with you and test even, because women test men and men test women subconsciously, to see how far they can go in their conversation, in touch, in suggesting things. And the reason why it's so important for you to have sexual boundaries is because if you do, the guy is going to understand two things. Number one, he has to show up stronger. He has to be a better version of himself to earn your trust and your heart. When he does that, when he invests more emotionally, his heart is more in it. If he ends up leaving or disengaging, he's going to be hurt too. The more skin in the game he has, the more likely he is to stay in for the long haul and to value you. Men who do not work hard to end that physical connection will not value it or you as much. And it's one of those things also where if you have stronger sexual boundaries, he's going to also feel he's more valuable as a result of you choosing him than if you don't. Thing number four men notice in the span of one date is, does she have range? Now, they're not going to ask this question, does she have range or frame it this way. They're simply going to have a feeling. And the feeling is predominantly, is this woman in her own specific lane? which is more of a monotone, or does she have the capacity to go in and out of different emotional states that create a lot more excitement and a lot more interest in you? So for example, if you're the kind of serious human being who's dating and you have a secret Excel spreadsheet where you're ticking boxes and gauging if the guys can do it for you or not, and you're asking questions that sound more like a business interview, the guy is going to find you not attractive. If you're the kind of woman who's playful and fun and flirty, and you can have a great time and a great laugh, but you're not asking deep questions, the guy is also going to put you in the category of fun and friendly, but not necessarily the woman I want to introduce to my mother. So when you have the capacity to do both, you can be playful and fun and flirty, but you can also be serious when you need to be. You're not just here to figure out if you can have a weekend boyfriend. You're here because you're evaluating down the line. You guys can spend the rest of your life together. He's going to treat you differently. If he wants a serious relationship, the combination of that range, the seriousness with the playfulness and the depth is going to make him feel far more compelled to connect with you and be inspired to pursue you. Now, before I share my last three points, which are really important, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not sure or not aware of the root cause why you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in virtually every walk of life, so many different countries around the world to actually create the relationship they've been wanting for years that's sustainable, that's long lasting, that ends up in a marriage or life partnership. And I've gotten the insights of that and created a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you'd like to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this, answer a few simple questions, and within one minute, you'll have the answer to the question why you're still single, but also a custom report that will share with you based on your specific blind spot what is the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. The fifth thing guys who are intelligent notice about you in the span of the first date is does her brain take over her heart? So what does this mean? Is she a woman who is connecting to her heart? Is she a woman who's mostly in her head? Nothing wrong if you're an intelligent woman and you can speak from your head. If you can speak from your heart, if you can deepen into vulnerability, if you can deepen in self-expression, if you can feel him, create space for him emotionally, he will feel far more compelled to pursue you, to think you're unique, and to want to continue moving forward. Because in some ways he's asking himself, is she open and nurturing or is she someone who is more of a business partner kind of person? Nothing wrong with that, but guys won't be feeling emotionally moved to take the next step. Number six, is she needy, healthy, or walled off? Let's talk about this. Needy would be someone who has an air of desperation, who has an air of, choose me, please. I've been wanting this for so long and let's make this happen without really knowing the guy. It's more of a feeling of being used. So if you show up with high anxiety, if you show up with a high degree of uncertainty, if you don't express yourself, if you want him to show up stronger than he is, not necessarily know what you're getting into, that's going to put you in a specific category for him. If you're showing up with a sense of my heart is open, I crave a deep relationship. It could be you or somebody else want to deepen the conversation, 
deep in the communication, that would be like the healthy space. Walled off would be the place where you connect with someone and that woman is closed off. She doesn't need a man in her life. She doesn't even want a guy in her life. She's just going through the motions and she doesn't have that feeling of, I can meet my needs in a healthy way, in a co-creative, mutually interdependent relationship. It's more of like, I'm an independent human being. You do your thing. I'll do my thing. Let's get together for a while. That type of connection will work for some guys, especially if they're avoidant. But if a guy who's healthy, a guy who is connected, a guy who wants intimacy will feel that's too cold for him and not be inspired to continue going forward. The last category that men consider when they date someone for just the first time is, is she a possibility or a problem seeking human? Here's what I mean by that. Is she someone who is looking at the glass half full, half empty? Is she creating more drama than necessary? And by drama, I don't mean expressing your emotions. I'm talking about you finding the fault in things without having an equal ability to find what's possible. Are you someone who is optimistic and someone who is, without being delusional, seeing how she can make things work? Or are you someone who is kind of in a victim mentality, looking for what's not possible, finding problems, talking bad about what's happened to you in your past or your exes? That makes a huge difference as well. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it means the world to me and my channel because this is how it can grow and help more women. If you could like and subscribe, if you'd like to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.